Over 60% of all cholera cases identified in recent years have occurred in Africa, where clean water and basic sanitation pose huge challenges. In Zimbabwe, a significant proportion of the population living in peri-urban settlements lack access to essential services such as reticulated water and sewer systems. These people face great risks of contracting cholera and other waterborne diseases. This is Bela Paisi in Epworth, 12 kilometers outside Zimbabwe's capital city, Harare. Residents of this peri-urban settlement have to walk long distances to get water. The Epworth Local Board has over the years struggled in vain to secure resources to provide a safe water and sewer system. Subsequently, Epworth residents face increased risks of contracting sanitation-related diseases such as diarrhea, dysentery and cholera because they use poorly built pit latrines and unsafe wells. Here, children and people living with HIV and AIDS are more vulnerable to diseases because of their weaker immune systems. In an effort to provide a low-cost sanitation solution, Practical Action Southern Africa and UNICEF have partnered with the residents of Belapesi to launch a critical intervention, the Ecological Sanitation Project. Under this project, simple, low-cost toilets have been constructed throughout Belapesi to meet the health needs of the residents. Community members receive adequate training and information on constructing and using the toilet. Most residents have mastered the use of the Ecosan toilet. One such person is Teresa Quenda, a resident of Belapesi, who is living with HIV and AIDS. She is only one of scores of people in Epworth whose lives have been positively affected by the Ecological Sanitation Project. I'm living with HIV. My family and I use the Ecosan toilets, which greatly help us maintain our hygiene. The toilets must always be kept smart. This project has helped us reduce opportunistic infections, such as diarrhea and rash. It also reduces mosquito breeding. We don't use the bush anymore. We were instructed not to use water in the toilets. We also use biodegradable materials that decompose together with the waste. After using the toilet, we sprinkle a mixture of ash and dry soil into the hole to kill gems and water. Construction of this simple infrastructure is very cheap and simple. Builders dig a meter deep rectangular pit, which they divide into two compartments during construction. Ready materials are ferried from a central area to the various sites of construction. A movable slab is placed on one of the compartments upon which one toilet will be constructed using concrete panels. And the toilet is ready for use. The bulk of the construction cost goes towards cement to put up the superstructure. This toilet can cost as little as 20 US dollars if the superstructure is made of any locally available material, including grass. Compared to 180 US dollars required for a conventional toilet, the ecological sanitation toilet is extremely cost effective. But what are the benefits of using the ecological sanitation toilets compared to other pit latrines? 
the ecosan toilet is a very good toilet that we are promoting and it can be used anywhere in this world regardless of the place you are staying uh, it has got so many advantages such that it is cheap to construct so these resource poor communities can also be able to use it the other advantage that the ecosan toilet also has is that it does not pollute groundwater unlike the conventional toilets of uh, improved ventilated pit latrines that the other uh, sectors promote it has got twin uh, pits which do not uh, which when one is filled up you can switch on to to, to use the, the the next one and because of this twin pits you can use them over a long period of time unlike the other toilets which can fill up after three or four years and also the waste that would have been put in the initial pit you can then when you empty the pit you can use that waste to fertilize also your, your, your crops these are some of the advantages that the resource poor communities will enjoy if they use the ecosan toilets the ecological sanitation project was undertaken through a broad-based approach which ensured that families had an improved understanding of health and hygiene issues. Under this participatory health and hygiene education program, Belapese residents organized themselves into health clubs to promote health and hygiene in their communities. Here, the Ecosan project coordinators explained to the community how to begin construction of the toilet. They stress that the project can only become successful if the community members adhere to health lessons imparted to them. Kana mukashanza zvakana ka haite makonye ampinde nunzi. Asi kana mukashanza zvakashata munogona kupinda nunzi chi inenge tingati yatinoti time bomb ye kuti inobva yakunzira izvirwere. Though this exercise seems time consuming it is essential because the residents need to know wrong from right if the project is to be effective. To ensure community participation, the project also trained local people to construct all the toilets. The changes and benefits brought by the ecological sanitation toilet to Belapesi indicate that this may be the solution to sanitation challenges in high population communities. Thanks to this project, residents of Bilapesi have every reason to smile.